Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Fernandez from Texas Instruments and I wanted to showcase a demo that we've put together for Maker Fair Bay Area. Uh, if you're in town, uh, please stop by booth number 220 and you'll see this demo among other things that we've uh, put together to showcase some of the tools that TI develops both on a hardware and software standpoint uh, to enable makers to, to create the next big thing. Um, so in this case, we're leveraging Launchpad, which is a low-cost microcontroller development tool um, starting at just $9.99. Um, and we're using some open-source community-developed software as well um, to showcase how the two components, both hardware and software, work together uh, to create some interesting applications. Uh, in this case, we are creating a Twitter-controlled RGB LED light strip um, to kind of showcase some home automation or IoT type applications. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. So here's our setup. Uh, here I've got my RGB LED light strip, um, five meters long, and it interfaces to my launch pad, which is uh, tucked away behind this green board. Uh, this green board is a booster pack that features three FETs from TI, um, and these FETs drive current to each of the red, green, and blue channels of my LED light strip. Um, and the amount of current that's passed to each uh, LED um, channel is, is modulated by a PWM pin that's on our, uh, on our launch pad here. Um, so our launch pad is actually running some firmware. And the firmware was developed in a tool called Energia. Um, and Energia is here on my computer. It's a community developed, open source development environment. Um, and the specific example sketch that I'm running is called Fermata. And what that example sketch does is it basically uh, is, is again flashed into the microcontroller and waits for commands from the computer. Um, and based on those commands coming over serial from the computer, the launch pad will react appropriately. Uh, we might toggle some I.O. pins uh, or return our raw analog input values that are being uh, read by each of the analog input channels. Um, or in this case, we're sending a serial command from the computer to the launch pad to modulate the three PWM pins that are hooked up to the red, green, and blue channel of our RGB uh, LED light strip. Um, so that's Energia. Uh, in addition to this tool, uh, we have another tool called Node Red, which is developed by IBM. Um, and Node Red is a visual programming tool, and the concept is that we can wire together different nodes uh, to create IoT or internet enabled applications. Uh, in this case, we're leveraging one of the nodes uh, that's already inside of the Node Red palette called Twitter. Um, so I can click and drag that block, and we can pass it a, a few parameters. Uh, in this case, we want to listen for any public tweets that are being uh, pointed at a specific Twitter handle. Uh, in this case, at Adrian, which is my Twitter handle, um, as well as any tweets that also include the hashtag, um, hashtag launchpad and hashtag tweetlight. So as long as these three parameters are true, um, this node will then pass the entire Twitter string to a function block that I've created, or this, this specific node called parse tweet. Um, and inside of this node, I'm basically going to parse that Twitter string um, and extract the red, green, and blue color values that I have inside of that tweet. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, open up Twitter here on my phone. So um, I'm going to open up Twitter here, and I'm going to create a, uh, a new tweet. So again, I'm going to tweet at a specific Twitter handle, at Adrian. I'm going to have the two uh, hashtags that I'm looking for, hashtag launchpad, hashtag tweetlight, and I'm going to go ahead and pass in a specific RGB color code. Um, and for each red, green, and blue channel, it expects a value between 0 and 255. Uh, 0 meaning completely off, 255 meaning completely on, Anywhere in the middle will uh, enable it to, to uh, change its duty cycle appropriately. So let's say we want to turn on the blue light. I'm going to go ahead and zero out the red channel, uh, zero out the green channel, and send in 255 to max out the blue channel. So then I'll go ahead and hit tweet. Um, and there you go. You can see that almost immediately the lights turn on. Um, you can also see here um, in node red, there's a window called debug. Um, and we're basically just printing out the values that I've parsed out of my tweet. So I've got the zero for the red, zero for the green, 255 for the blue. Um, and as I hover over each of these elements in my debug window, 
um, node red actually draws a sort of dotted line around the node that, that generated um, that particular uh, debug message. Um, so what I've got here is a debug node, which is more or less sniffing what's coming out of these output um, pins of, of this parse tweet node. Um, so I'm able to see the 0, 0, 255 that we type into the tweet. Um, so let's do some color mixing. Let's go ahead and go back to uh, Twitter. Um, again, I need to make sure that I'm uh, passing in the appropriate parameters. I'm tweeting at a specific Twitter handle. I've got the two hashtags that I'm looking for. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, mix the blue and the green channel um, to, to kind of make a sort of aquamarine type of uh, color. So let's try uh, 245 for the green, and let's try 200 for the blue. So I'll go ahead and tweet that. Um, and then there you go. You can see the colors are changed um, yet again. Uh, whoops. Um, so, so not too bad. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Um, again, the values are appearing in the debug window of Node Red. Um, and I was able to control the RGB LED light strips uh, fairly easily. Um, so that's it. Um, we'll have this demo at Maker Fair Bay Area. Um, you can tweet at our lights and control them accordingly, depending on what your favorite color is. Um, and, and just to sort of recap, what we've got going on here is the TI Launchpad. We've got a, a booster pack that features a few FETs um, to drive current to the RGB LED light strip. And then on the computer side, we had uh, two software tools that we leveraged, Energia to flash the appropriate firmware to the launch pad, uh, and Node Red for interfacing with Twitter um, and, and ultimately controlling the launch pad over those serial commands. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching, um, and hopefully we'll, we'll see you at Maker Faire.